And there we go, I got him off. He's all right there. Pretty cute. Anyway, cheers little wheel. The witching hour. This is the one. Double shot of place, yeah? There you go, out. Come on. Welcome back everyone, welcome back, you know where I am, the home of the Shore Hunter YouTube channel. The difference is, I am definitely not chisel fit. I've walked from Cogden up there, right in the distance, I've walked for an hour to come out and try for a place with you. Yeah, honestly. As you know, I normally, or I like to come out once a week for you. I've not been out on Chesil since January. I've been fishing the Bristol Channel in Norway, virtually parking the van and fishing little sessions for you. And that is nigh on, killed me. Welcome back everyone, welcome back. You've asked, you keep asking and I will deliver. This is the beautiful Chesil Beach. My name's Wayne and it's a privilege to be back out fishing for you. Heading up the west coast in the morning to find a place where no one knows our faces or our names. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'd call myself quite a fit lad. Not this, physically. And that has just almost killed me. That's insane. So some water. Right, it's a week just before Easter. Normally, by now, I'd be out getting place for us. But as you know, I've been in Norway. This is my first trip to Chesil Beach since January. I'm sorry. I like holidays too. And when I go on holiday, I take you with me. <laughs> but I know, I know 90% of you well, only watch my channel because it's Chesil Beach. So here we are. Stop the death threats, we're all right now. No, I'm joking. Anyway, welcome back. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. The beach has been smashed to pieces over the winter. I've not come to this end, mainly because it's a shallow end where we target place. Last year, I had place here in January, but this year, as you know, the weather has been atrocious. What I'm going to do is continue setting up. When I bring it back, I will be able to breathe, hopefully. We're going to sit down. We're going to sit in my little snug. We're going to talk about my kit, my fishing reels. I've got something really exciting to show you. Something new to the Shore Hunter shop on my YouTube channel, that's gonna make your lives a lot easier and saves me explaining stuff every time I come out fishing, which is definitely helpful. But yeah, as I've said, I'm gonna set up, when I come back, I'll have my shelter up, I'll have my rods up. We'll sit down, we'll talk about my plans, my dreams and our expectations today here in Dorset and hopefully, I can make us one of our famous videos here on Chesil Beach.
yes. The sun is shining. That is beautiful, hey? Believe it or not, it's the only good day this week to get out. You probably know this by now. Anyway, as you can see in front of you, I've got a 7HT paired up with the competition blackout with the glass tip Ventronics Pro. My second rod is another competition blackout Ventronics Pro with the glass tip paired up with a Banzai Monomag. Target species today. I'm thinking place, but it's a little bit murky. Flounder or ray, or maybe a dogfish. But as you know, I don't really target them. I may do at eight o'clock tonight if we're blanking, but yeah, maybe a place, maybe a flounder. Pitin, whiten, undulate if we're very lucky or a small eyed ray. What I'm going to do now is have two or three casts as those reels haven't been out. Probably, well the 7HT hasn't been used since last September and I've never actually bought the Monomag out on Chesil Beach. New line, what could possibly go wrong? Let's go and have a chat. Look at it everyone. It's beautiful. Mag's on full. What I'm going to do is just have a couple of gentle casts. Stretch your line out. And there you go. It's my first birdie. <laughs> That's a new line. I'll sort that out, don't worry. Welcome back to Chesil Beach, everyone. It's a privilege to be here for you, yeah? Well, that was a good start. Lucky I carry one of these, a spooler line. Don't worry, it didn't crack off. It just blew up. Yeah, that was a good start. First cast, virtually a 24 on Chesil Beach. And I fucked it. Anyway, let's get this back going to take some getting used to. As you know, I've been in Norway casting eight ounce leads, eight ounce baits, nagas, heavy reels, nine back using the blackouts, which are, I'm not sure how heavy they are, but they're like weightless. With seven HTs, which are ultralight, and a little five ounce lead. Man. I may struggle today for a few hours. I should be all right. Skill fade, hey? See if I can cast properly. <laughs> nice and gentle. There you go. We're getting there. Mag's on full still. As you know, technically, my cast is never brilliant, but today it feels all over the place. What I'm gonna do is carry on practicing. <laughs> no, I'm not. Just gonna wind this one in. That's five or six casts. The line lay looks good. It's not fluffing up anymore. I have got the mags on full. As the day goes on, I take the mags off, but we're all right. After that rocky start, hopefully, we can get into the fish. I'm not fishing yet. As I mentioned in the intro, I've got a little surprise for you. As you know, I try and answer all your questions all the time. Sometimes it's not possible. 90% is people asking me how I make certain rigs and how I do it my way. 
As I mentioned before, the way I fish is different to someone who's probably next to me or you, but it kind of works for me. So what I've decided to do is start selling my rigs I use. And there you go, look at that. So today I'm gonna fish a big bait with squid. So I've got a Chesil Beach cod and hang rig. The rigs that you see me use all the time with my pink tube in. And for place and maybe flat fish, I'm gonna use the Premium Shore Shore Hunter Place and Flatfish Rig. This is a wishbone pulley. As you can see, I sell them in neat little packs of five. And they are available on my YouTube channel shop. So if you go to, well, you're on my YouTube channel, but if you go to the front, in the bottom right hand corner, it says shop. You go on there. From now on, every time I come out fishing, whatever rigs I use, I will put them in stock and get them made up, ready for you. So when you watch a video, you can just sit at home and think, I wanna to come to Chesil next week and target place or raise the same as Wayne Bosch five a time in packs of five. As you see, I've not individually wrapped them because I don't want to leave lots of plastic on the beach. But if you have a look here, get this one out. They're perfectly wrapped like that, ready to go. And you just undo this. Honestly, it just saves me answering all your questions. You may want to buy five and just copy them. Or if you're super busy, like a lot of people, you can just buy your rigs all the time from my shop and I'll make sure they are always in stock. As you can see from this one, all right, I'm using our faithful splashdown, like so. So there you go, it's a pulley with a wishbone. Plenty of bling for the place. Perfect for using two different baits. So today I'm using a little bit of sand eel on one maybe for a gurnard and on the other hook i'm going to be using some black lug look at all my bling hopefully that's a nice place or a gurnard or a ray Listen to that sea. It's nice to be back, everyone. So what I'm using today is size one hooks. So they're quite small. I'm not sure what's out there. Just gonna keep mixing it up. I've got some crab, squid, fresh blacks, frozen blacks, and sand eel. Just gonna keep casting every 20 minutes. Hopefully there isn't any spider crabs around. There you go, Let's stop her. It's easier to show you this when it's on the rod. There's one side. Move my stoppers back. Got some fresh blacks. Look at them. It's the end of March. Normally, by now, should be picking up place. But looking at the water, it's not dirty. It's just not very clean. It's not going to rain though. Well, it's not forecast to rain. There's so many rigs here to show you. They're all over the floor. Anyway. So hopefully I can get us a nice place today. That's the target species. Or a nice small eyed. There we go. 
Right, what I'm going to do is put this on the rod, clip it up, show you it, and get it out there. And there we go. Let's tighten my stop knots down. Hooks are sharp. Got myself. And look at that. Beauty. What I'm going to do is walk up left, cast out, leave a bow line out, and let my lead trundle round with all that bling, hopefully attracting us a lovely little place in the spring sunshine. And my pink tube in. Yeah, my standard rig for pretty much fishing big baits on chisel for cod, hangs, rays. And there you go. You've seen this rig before. Simple stuff. Let me get a lead. Another rolling lead. We've not really got much tide at the moment, so I can get away with a five ounce lead. Later on when it picks up, I've got sixes and I've got some grip leads just in case. Got quite a big tide today. Nothing massive, but and there you go. As you can see, this one is set up just like my pulley rigs all the time with my magic tube in and my circle hook. which is obviously available on my YouTube shop. There we go, a nice whole sweat. Let's go for an angelette, shall we? Just gonna put a big squid out. Keep mixing it up. beautiful to be back. It's a nice day. The rest of the week's going to be terrible. It's just going to rain and get really windy again. The same old picture. Get my rig. Let's get my panel hook, my J hook. Put it through the shoulder, into the head. Remember, like all good marriages, head is important when fishing. Do remember, my YouTube channel is an over 18. Or as David Attenborough would say, this YouTube channel is for over 18s. There you go. That's bad actually. I'm pretty good at that normally. That's a bad one. Anyway, let's whip this on. It's a big squid this. That's a massive squid actually. I'd be fine. We're only ray fishing. I was just talking to you and I noticed my rod just pulled right down and then came back. Nice. Got a bite. And my wishbone rig. I'll leave you live.
Look like a flatfish bite. That'd be well cool, first cast. To be honest, I didn't know really what to expect, like normal. I just thought I'd come out, do some fishing, we're good at that. I wasn't really sure what the catching was going to be like. I've got a bite on the first cast. There you go. See that? That looks like a dogfish. <laughs> wow. What I'm going to do, I've got two hooks on there. The beauty of using a wishbone is it creates a commotion. And if it is a flatfish, one will be pulling the other and hopefully I could get two. And there you go, everyone. That's my beautiful Chesil Beach pulley panel with my magic tube in on the circle and my J hook in the splashdown. Let's get it out there. That rod is still tapping away. There you go. What's out there? That rod's still tapping away. What I'm going to do is get another rig ready, put it on the rest. So if we do have a flatfish, normally they feed together. You normally get a little bit of a run at certain states of the tide. So what I like to do is wind in the flatfish or whatever fish it is, put it in my bucket, clip the other one up and get it out there. Speed fishing. There you go. Another wishbone. This one, I've got orange and yellow. Like that. Move the stopper, keep it all nice and streamlined, like so. Get a sand deal. Hopefully it's not a dogfish, but I don't really care. A fish is a fish. My second hook. Bait and needle to hold it next to it like that. Just get my elastic. Keep it nice and straight, streamlined. As I mentioned on mine, I love splashdowns because I can clip them in and they never come open in the air. And what you can do if you like casting off of the ground, they're perfect for that as well. Like Gemma, my friend, she casts off of the ground. If you use an imp, most of the time, it's a balancing act to try and keep it in the imp. But there we are. Right, let's get this one on the rest. When I bring it back, we look at that rod, still tapping away. As I mentioned, I've got two hooks, so I like to leave it out just in case there's more than one fish. But let's have a look. First cast on Chesil Beach in spring. Right, we're nice and slack. Hopefully, the fish is on. Yeah, we've got some weight. There we go, first cast on my wishbone rig. Right, what I'm going to do is move you down. Nice and gentle. Hopefully it's a flatfish. 
and not a dogfish, but first cast. So it's a nice fish. I'm gonna take my time. Could be a gurnard on my sand hill. What's the joys of using two hooks? Could be a place on the black lug. Just gonna balance it through here. In the wash, what have we got? Oh, it's a bloody dog. That's all right. Ah. Ah. To be honest, I'm quite surprised at that. The water's quite clear. You get. Oh well. A fish is a fish. Oh, come on, darling. And there you go, everyone. That's a dogfish here on Chesil Beach. You like my new rig? I might have to rename it the Dogfish Slayer. Two rods in the water. Oh, well, I've had a bite, and I? It's a dogfish. I'm not blanking. So we're out fishing and we're catching. A super slack that. The tide's ripping out there. Swap these around. There you go, those glass tips, beautiful. Well, there we are. Two in the water and one ready to go out. I don't know why this one keeps slacking on. As you know, I'm using a rolling lead. So maybe it's just bouncing round. It's nice to be back. It's lovely. I've not actually brought any waterproofs with me because stupidly, I followed the weather report and it said no rain, but looking out across Portland, woo, that's pretty mean. Hopefully it stays out there. Or I'm getting wet and I don't fancy that I will walk back soaking wet. But, ah well. I think we've got dogfish on the whole squid. There you go. That looks doggy fried. I've got a bite on that one as well. Look at this one, shall we? Got a spare rig still made up there. I think that might be a dog on the whole squid. There we are. 
think we've got a fish on here as well. To be honest, it could be another dog, but... It's fine, we're out fishing. We're catching fish. They are absolutely loving my wishbone pigs. I got a bit. Of, I got a bit of seaweed as well. Maybe it's not a fish. I'm sure I got a fish on as well. Ah. I think I got a fish still. Oh. Got another dog, I reckon. Dog on. Bit of plastic, I'll sort that out in a minute. Oh well. We're out fishing. Oh, it's just come off. <laughs> anyway. That's how to unhook dogfish. I didn't want to go in for a doggy. I'm not that stupid. Anyway, that rod up there is bent double. I think it's probably a bit of a dog fest. So what I might do is take the fish baits off on the wishbone and just put straight worm. Hopefully I can target a place and not get hammered by doggies. But as you can see, it's not crystal clear, but we're getting bites. All right, let's get this out there. We're on the dogs, mate. Hang on. It's still there, look, see that? Look at that. All right, there's a fish, yeah. <laughs> Just must be small. Might be double dog. Hopefully. Hopefully it's a ray. That's my target. I don't know. Might just be a big dog. Come on. Doesn't feel like a dog, but you know. That's a dog. Ugh. Little shizen. Ah well. And there we go. It's a dogfish on my pulley. So my rigs are working. And they could do for you. No, don't worry. I'm not going to go on about them all the time. That's a fat dog, by the way. And there you go. That's a beautiful dogfish here on the mighty Chesil Beach. Free fish, free casts. Let's go. That is a big fat dogfish. Come on. How fat it is. Come on. I'm not going to hurt you, dear. Come on. And there you go. I'm well chuffed. <laughs> I'm not really. But uh, it's all right. Free casts, free fish. They may be dogfish, but I'm catching. Anyway, we'll get this little chap back, or female, I'd say. Let's curl her up in a ball and put her back where she belongs. Cheers, everyone. Thanks, Mrs. Dogfish. Sandil. I'll put a double sandil on. Hopefully, there's a small line. The reason I put the effort in and walk all the way it's got another bite. <laughs> it's come flying back. The reason I walk all the way along here is it gives me a good opportunity to get a place. Oh my God. And we've got a chance of a small light this time of year. So what I like to do is get a sand deal, turn them around so it makes more like a square. 
be elastic. There's a few fish around. If it keeps up with the dogs, what I might do is just switch it up to worm baits. That won't stop it. It should just slow it down. But I like to fish a fish bait, just in case I get a nice undulate or a small eye or a turbot, a gurnard, you know. It's rolling there to come around, and then the fish are just hitting it. But we'll keep fishing. Hopefully, I can fish through the dogs. Where you get dogs, you get rays, normally. I'm going to put a double sand hill on my pulley. That's good fun. Quite a few people walking along. Wow. It's definitely looking a little bit dark for a bright sunny day with no chance of rain. There's a fish on there. Have a look at this one, shall we? Could be a dog, but you never know. I don't really care. We're back out on chisel. And we're getting bites. Might have missed that one. Let's put that down a bit. Might be a bit of weed. There's a little bit of weed out there at the moment. Can't really put it down. What am I doing? I'll just keep it coming. We've got a bait ready anyway. Yeah, it could be a fisher. Oh, it feels fishy. Maybe another dog. We got a place. Could it be a place? Oh no, it's another woofer. Man, there's loads of doggies here. Wow, come on. Let's unhook you straight away. And there you go. We're on the fish, and we're on the bloody dogfish, mate. There's a fish every cast. Can't be bad. Yeah, as you can see, I'm getting hassled by dogfish. All right, it's good, you know, one or two casts. It's nice to get a bite and get into the fish, but after a while, they get on your tits and they stop anything else coming along. So what I've done this time is mixed it up I put double worm. Dogfish are renowned for fish baits, i.e. squid. I know that's not a fish, but you know what I mean. And sand eel. So if I mix it up, put black lug out there, it won't stop them, but it may slow them down. But yeah, it's all right. We're getting bites, but I've had enough of bloody dogfish. As you can see, I've taken off the sand eel on the next cast. Hopefully it gives me a chance to get away from the dogs. Well, it's fine. Can't help it. shit in the water today it's not good probably literally shit as well with what's going on back here in the uk i've just got my other rod in the way we've got 
maybe another dog. I've not seen it yet. Hmm. We've got, yep. Yeah, I won't wind that all the way out. But that is another dogfish. And there you go, double lugworm. Hopefully it stops a dogfish for a minute. That's a good thing about using a wishbone rig. Obviously I was using sand hill and blacks and the dogfish took the sand hill every time as pretty much expected. I've not had one on blacks. Hopefully we can get a place on that one. Yeah. Dog on. Got a bit of weed on my leader knot. Right, I'll go and get that one. I don't want to drag it all out of the beach. Hi, we haven't done this for a while. Welcome home, darlings. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Want to put sand hill out or squid, I'll get a dogfish straight away. So what I'm going to do is bait up another rig and just fish now with blacks. I've not had a bite on them, which is fine. Hopefully I can pick up a place. The water is not that clear, so I'm not that confident. But we need our baits in the water for more than five minutes and the dogfish are just killing it. But it's fine. As you know, I don't chase reports. I don't ask anyone. I just plan and I come to Chesil. If I catch, I catch. If I don't, I blank. Just a real, I don't know, true reflection for me, how it's fishing. But yeah, it's all right. It's good fun. Bites every cast. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna keep fishing. I'm gonna keep trying. When I bring you back, hopefully, I can get us into a place or something else. Cheers, everyone. And I've got a bite on the right hand one. So that's the furthest one away. Just finishing off another lug bait. Hoping for a place. And the right hand rod is just come flying back. It's been out there about half an hour. And I soak. Just about to bring it in. And I've got a bite. Come on, let's have a look, shall we? Let's look see. Hey, I've got an ulcer in my mouth. That's painful. Just thought I'd tell you that. Keep this one low because it feels like a place. Uh, 
Come on. Come on, buddy. If it is a place, it's a small one. It doesn't feel like a dog there. Come on. Oh, I've got some in. Oh my God. Oh my God, what have I got now? Oh Lordy. Oh no. Oh, look at my lovely rig. <laughs> yes. Buddy! Cheers then. Anyway, I'll sort that mess out. It's not a dogfish, eh? Cheers, everyone. And there we go, I got him off. He's all right there. Pretty cute. Anyway, cheers, little wheel. See you when you're 50 pound, eh? Tide's coming in. The tide's not really pulling at the moment. It's quite nice. It's beautiful. It's pretty cold outside the shelter. That wind is ripping from Portland along the beach. I was even going to come without my shelter today. Thank God I didn't. I wouldn't have really lasted. Yeah, we're getting bites. We're getting fish. Hopefully, with the flood inside and nightfall in three hours, we've got a chance. I'm going to fish all the way until it gets dark. As you know, place, feed. In the last hour and the first hour, of every day. We call it the witching hour. So hopefully I can guess one. It's March. It's a little bit tricky, but we're on the fish. My bait's still fine. So we've got a chance, we're fishing. There's no spider crabs. And on black lug, the dogfish leave me alone. We have a chance of catching a place. It's a long shot, but I'm confident, yeah? Bear with me, friends. Not only is it beautiful, we've got some tide pool. If you look now, the tide switch direction is pulling from right to left. And that's why my tips are pulled down. Look at that, those glass tips with the backdrop of the sun. Can't do no more. We've got about an hour left. Oh, see that, that's a fish. Left arm rodlet, right on cue. That looks like it could be a dogfish. <laughs> right on cue, hey? Be nice. I won't touch it yet, because it might be a flatty. But yeah, you seen that? Just pulled right round. I'll leave it. I'm not sure if you can pick it up, but my left hand one's gone slack now. So that fish has been there a while. As you know, I've got two hooks, so I've left it. Hopefully, look, there you go. That can't be a dogfish, surely. I'm quite excited. Could be our first flatty. Let's turn you around. It's got to be a dog, eh?
Be careful just in case. But lead it. Come on. Be a nice place. What have we got? I'm saying dogfish. Ah, you bastard. Ah, that's my first doggy on blacks. Damn it. Oh well, I'm out on Chesil. I'm the lucky one to be catching fish in the sunshine. Come on, wish me luck. Look at that, everyone. I didn't really want to talk, so I'm not gonna. But there you go. That's what we missed. Anyway, I'll keep fishing, one more cast, that's what we say. Oh, it's beautiful now. One last cast. Let's have a look then, shall we? The witching hour. This is the one. Double shot of place, yeah? go out come on last cast look at that the fishing's great the catching is shit as you can see that is absolutely stunning everyone i just put down my shelter and i've turned around and look at it hey we've missed that there's only one thing for it you know what's coming you know Let's go. Heading up the west coast in the morning to find a place Where no one knows our faces or our names If we don't leave now we might never make it out alive Changing, rearranging all the time So come away with me Well that is beautiful, hey? What have we got? Got nothing, what I do? 
Let's do the second one as well while we're live. We've got nothing on here. I'll do a quick outro. And then I'll get out of here. We've got a fish on here. Feels like it. Might be a little pythin or a, a night species. Look at that sky, everyone. And there we are. Well, dogfish and a conger eel. Not too bad. Plenty of bites, just no place. Oh, nah, it's just my lead. Anyway, that'll do. And on that note, everyone, look at that out there. As you know by now, it's a privilege to be out here on the mighty Chesil Beach for you. And that is the reason I do it. It's not all about the catching. That's what I call the fishing. Thanks again, everyone. As you know, this is Chesil Beach. My name's Wayne and I will see you somewhere else very soon. Good night, look after yourself and thanks again for your support.